Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from Fresno State. I'm here with Luca Berlante from the Department of Viticulture and Enology. Wanted to talk about how growers can improve the color of their red wine grapes, whether they're here in the San Joaquin Valley or in the coast. Thank you, Matthew. Yes, color management is a very important aspect in producing uh, red wine grapes um, and increasing the uh, content of anthocyanins in the skins uh, it can be obtained by uh, different strategies with irrigation management but also with canopy management and also with a good timing on uh, the harvest. So if we think about the irrigation, deficit irrigation has been shown to be effective in increasing the amount of colors in uh, red wine grapes and in red grapes in general, so also in table grapes, uh, some little deficit irrigation can be beneficial for our two color ones. Generally, we talk about, uh, you know, Cabernet or similar varieties when we want to maximize the color content. And in uh, conditions of California, deficit irrigation between fruit set and varazon uh, are roughly between 50 and 70 percent of ET crop, crop evapotranspiration, has been effective in uh, increasing the color up to 30 percent. Uh, this has been shown in uh, Central Valley, but can be observed in any regions of the coast as well. And conversely to what happens from in, in Europe, when and uh, is, is suggested to have a, a, a late uh, a deficit in, uh, in irrigation. In our conditions, which are very dry, we can obtain deficit irrigation early in the season, so before the reason, and this is more effective. So the, the reason why when we uh, listen to European conditions, uh, you know, they always talk about late irrigation is because the spring is so wet they cannot obtain the early uh, deficit. But we can do that here and so it's much more an advantage for us. Uh, and uh, related to that is also uh, the canopy management. Uh, if we think to uh, removing leaves uh, and uh, exposing the grapes to, um, to the sun in order to maximize the pigmentation uh, of the, uh, the skins that they use to protect from excess of sun, uh, in our case, during the mid-summer or late summer, we have so much radiation and so hot temperatures across the full state that exposing further the grapes to this sun is not beneficial, but is actually a, a negative to the uh, uh, ac accumulation of colors. Because we need to consider that anthocyanins do not only accumulate, but they start degrading uh, also when they reach the peak, uh, pretty much mid-ripening or... And so uh, we do not want to accelerate that degradation by exposing the grapes too much. Uh, and so an early leaf removal before the raisin uh, or even earlier can uh, be more beneficial to accumulation of color when the berries are still green uh, than later when the berries are uh, black and then they attract much more sun. And then one final thing is in California we generally use hang time uh, in order to obtain that uh, nice uh, texture and uh, uh, flavor that we want and that is characteristics of the wines of the state. Uh, but the more we wait, uh, the more we uh, expose the, uh, the berries to, um, to, to the sun and uh, in a period where they are not long actively uh, they are not active from a metabolic standpoint, so they are no longer producing anthocyanins, the more you will degrade the color. And so uh, one thing that we can do is, for instance, using uh, shade nets or uh, kaolin sprays, this in order to protect from the sun. And for deficit irrigation, as I said, 50% to 70% ET crop between uh, fruit set and variation are the most uh, sure bet in increasing your color in the grapes. Thank you, Luca. Read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.